We're going to have a balloon and a baby dragon take out these weapons right here, right back to this spot. And she, she goes according to our pathing, right? So she should come. Oh, dang. Yo, what's up, you guys? It's Gossa Dudes. Welcome back, bro, to Clash of Clans. We're here, and it's Clan War League's time. And, uh, you know, today's video, I wanted to try and show you guys the progress of our war here. I've been doing some really nice attacks, and I'm going to try and break it down. I've done this before in the past, but I think uh, I'm going to try it again on today's episode. We're going to break down how we're doing, and we're uh, attacking these bases in case you guys are more competitive and you want to strategize. Then I'm going to break it down how I've been doing in my clan war leagues. So as you guys can see, we're on day six already. And uh, it's been pr going pretty okay. We haven't lost a war yet. They've set it up so that the seventh clan, the last clan, we're going to be fighting against. So this is going to be interesting, guys. So let's go back to day four. It's really like when I started getting all my three stars. And uh, I'll show you guys and we'll break it down. Here we go. Okay guys, so here we are. This is the first base that we're going to be attacking. So as you can see, a lot of these weapons are kind of uh, bunched up together. We have the Scattershot, the Clan Castle, Air Sweeper, and uh, I don't think I could reach the Infernal Tower right there, but the Queen kind of paths. She walks right around to this corner right here, and so that's where I basically hit all of my um, seven Lightning Spells, and then I have four Earthquake Spells to finish it off and open up this compartment. Uh, the idea was essentially to have the Grand Warden take out these buildings right here and have a baby dragon assist. That way we have another baby dragon cleaning up this area and the king walking down that way. And then I just have my uh, seven yetis and four witches that are going to path down this way. And hopefully my royal champion could take out the rest of these weapons over here. And I have my siege barracks. That are also going to take out these weapons right here. So it should be an easy path if we're going this way. So that's the plan. Let's see if I pulled it off. All right. Waiting for the queen to walk in there. Here she comes. This is a key attack right here, guys. We have to nail these seven spells. All right. We got that. So four. Four spells now right there. Opened it up. Grand Warden's there now. I kind of misjudged the spacing on the Grand Warden, so he's taking a lot of damage. I didn't want him to pop his ability, so I had to waste, kind of waste a Rage spell there. All right, so he's cleared it up. Here comes the Baby Dragon. Super Breaker is going to open up the wall, and here comes the Yetis. Now, this is a problem that I'm having. The Yetis kind of... Uh, Venture off to the sides a little too much before I can clean up. So maybe I was a little premature in um, in uh, deploying my troops. But thankfully, they walked back inside the core, guys. That was so key right there. Here we go. The Yetis are invulnerable. There they go. Now, this was another thing that probably could have helped me out. I could have hit the Queen's ability on that town hall, but the town hall does a lot of work on my troops, guys. Here comes, as you, can, you can see the uh, Royal Champion and the Hogs are on opposite sides, and they're gonna diverge. They have diverged, but they're going to um, come back and form back into the core right here. Here they go, they're gonna meet up inside the middle I pop my ability, and there they go, guys. They've joined back together and finished off the last of these weapons. Very nicely done. So our plan worked out. Thankfully, it worked out. As you guys know, in Clan War Leagues, even one mistake, like one wrong move, could be the difference between your three star and a two star or even a fail for that matter so we were lucky and look at that we've got these archers over there taking out the wall I think that would be really impossible for that archer to get to that through that wall in 15 seconds all right so dudes that was a nice one 
That was a good attack. So let's go back and see if we could do, see if we could see our next attack. Here we go. Okay, dudes, here we are for our next base. We're going to try and use seven lightning spells against this base. Because check this out. This guy has um, all these power weapons right in the core. And I'm thinking the lightning spell has three tiles of, uh, I believe it's three tiles that it does. It's good for three tiles. Or is it two? I'm not sure. But it should hit all these weapons if we're able to put it right dead smack in the middle of this Inferno Tower. So that's the plan. We're going to do uh, three, or sorry, seven lightning spells on that Infernal Tower and hopefully take all those out. Uh, next, we're going to have the king, or sorry, we're going to put the ice golem. Okay, dudes, here we are on the next base. So we're going to try and use seven lightning spells again on this thing with an earthquake spell. As you can see, there's an Infernal Tower right here, right in the middle. And I believe the lightning spell does three tiles of radius. And it should, if we do seven lightning spells and an earthquake, we should be able to take out all these weapons because they're pretty bunched close together. Uh, the next, we're going to have an ice golem and two headhunters come into support, take out the king with the, um, our barbarian king with the royal champion. So all those troops will be coming in, flooding and taking out this compartment as well. We'll have a baby dragon to help funnel Right, The baby dragon will come down here and help funnel all the troops and heroes inside this compartment. We'll have the Grand Warden on this side. He should take out all these buildings and we'll, we'll support him and have another troop to take out some building as well. So this should leave a path. We should have all of our golems and witches, or sorry, yeah, our, um, we should have all of our yetis and witches come through here right down towards the town hall. And we'll have a blimp to support because I don't want to use any jump spells. I'm going to have a blimp come and take out this town hall right there and that should leave a lot of weapons dec decimated we have we should have everything pretty much taken out and hopefully that'll get us the three stars so let's just see if i pulled it off starting out look at this i do reckon i didn't use seven lightning spells but i didn't i didn't do enough damage on the others so I was only able to get like two weapons, which really hurt my attack. Here we go. Minions helping out the Grand Warden. Here comes the Ice Golem, the King, Headhunters. King just walks past the, the enemy King there. All right, he's coming back. Grand Warden's doing great. Baby Dragon's doing the funnel. Grand Warden did a lot of work there. Now we got to pull him back. He's coming back. Royal Champion's in. So as you know, the Royal Champion doesn't really take out weapons. So she left uh, the gold mine, and our troops are just walking right back over to that. Thankfully, those barbs take those out. All right, so Royal Champion's going to go down, but she pops her ability before she does. Here comes the blimp. All right. I think I used my uh, ability prematurely, and I didn't, for some reason, I didn't get the all the yetis. I poisoned a little bit early there as well, so that really did nothing for that uh, Lava Hound. So already, dude, we've, we've done two mistakes. We didn't get all the power weapons in the core, and we used our poison a little bit early. Thankfully, we took out that Inferno Tower. But I can say that our our attack is still pretty good. It's still pretty strong. This is where the troops kind of split off. They're splitting off. The queen's kind of going around. I think if the queen had hang, hung out with these yetis, this might have been something else. But here she comes. She's coming to meet up with them. And now we have to deal with this Lava Hound. I don't have that poison spell. Here she goes. She's got that Lava Hound. That thing's about to pop, but look at this. The wizard's coming to meet up. The wizard's coming to meet up with us. All right, Royal. the uh, Warden is going to go down. 
He takes that final shot. Thankfully, we're not getting hit by that Archer Tower. We're out of radius. Here we go. Take that, take that. We've got all that. Oh, dude. 98%. We just didn't have the time for it. Pretty nice, though. It was a good attack. Okay, dudes, now for our last attack, we are going up against the number one player on the enemy side, and uh, we have a hog miner hybrid attack, so let's see if we're able to three-star or do a strong attack with this one. So what was my plan? I have my queen charge going right here. We're going to try and go for the town hall. To do this, we're going to have to get a baby dragon and... Um, take out these buildings right here so that my queen doesn't walk over to this way. We're going to have an ice golem and three headhunters take out the heroes right here with my king to take out this side. So this side should be done. Our queen should walk towards the town hall right there. We're going to have our siege barracks take out some of these buildings with the royal champion, take out these weapons, and our hogs and miners should just take out all these weapons right there. So it should be Pretty much a solid plan if we could pull this off and our queen doesn't go way over here or way over here. She got, she has to go for that town hall. So let's see if we pull this off. All right. We're up. Here we go. Queen's in. Right about... You know what we're doing? Okay, I see. We're waiting for the heroes to walk around. We don't want the heroes because we got to get those heroes near that um, that ice golem. That's the key. Ice golem needs to be there. All right, so they're coming. Here we go. We're going to put the king, the queen right about here. Here we go. She's got She's got some protection from any seeking air mines. Baby dragon's taking the shots while the uh, our balloon takes out the archer tower. All right, now she should go left. There she goes. All right, so here we go. We're going to put in our ice golem. There's a hidden Tesla. Didn't see that coming. Headhunters are there. Here comes the king and poison spell. That should slow everyone down. They're going for the king. There we go. They're doing massive damage on that hero. So I was worried that my queen might go left instead of right toward that archer tower. So I raised up my king to hurry up and take out that Tesla. There she goes. Thank goodness. If she went the other way, guys, that would have been it. Plan failed. But she did go right towards that town hall. The king is still doing some uh, funneling work, but look at this. He actually walks back towards the town hall and pulls some of my healers. All right, so I got to make some moves. Siege Barracks is in. Here come my troops. We're going to put the royal champion over that by that mortar. She's going to take some shots, but the point is to get the pathing right. We got to get this pathing. We're going to pop our ability because she's about to go down. And we're going to try and use our last uh, free spell on this scatter shot. Pop the ability there. Grand Warden is really doing some funny stuff. He's not even hanging out with our troops. But thankfully, we popped all of our troops. We got them protected for that meantime right there. There we go. We're inside, dudes. Oh, a lot of explosions, a lot of fireworks. Oh, this is going to hurt. Somehow, guys, we are able to clear out all those weapons. And we still have some left over. But is this enough for a three-star? Is it going to be a time fail? So much we still have to do. 25 seconds. Oh, shoot. We still have our ability, so I think I'm going to pop it when we get toward those uh, storages because the storages have really high hit points. Oh, shoot. It's just the P.E.K.K.A. and the Queen. Here we go. Awesome, guys. Popped it. We got that dude. All right. So... That's pretty much it. We, we've got all of our uh, wars have won. We still have one more to go. But I'm really excited about this, guys. We should be able to pull this off, and I will be maxing out my base 
hopefully this week, maybe Monday, we've got one more level for the king and three levels for the cannons. Three more, uh, three more cannons to upgrade. So, guys, this is awesome. We should be a max Town Hall um, 13 by this Monday. Hopefully. We will see. But thank you, dudes, so much for watching. This is Godson. Be sure to check me out on the next episode, and I will see you there. Godson out.